Hey everybody, how's it going? Oops, I forgot to mute that over there. Um, hi. Today is a lovely day. Hey yo, what's up tech? Good to see you. Um, today is a lovely day. Hey Brody, good to see you as well. Um, I actually recently, uh, became a Twitch affiliate, which is super cool. Very, very fun. Um, I'm very happy and proud to be able to do that. Um, which means I still need to make a lot of new, like, emotes, and we gotta do subscription badges and subscription tiers and whatnot. Um, yes, there are lots of new bells and whistles that I don't even know how to do yet. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but no, no ads, no. Brody, honestly, yeah, I am not messing with ads right now because there's just, like, a lot of, I don't know, man. Like, because I want to make money on the Twitch channel. I mean, that's, that sounds great. But, um... As far as running ads, I just feel like that can maybe ruin the experience a little bit. Um, so, at least for now, I'm not touching that. Um, but, uh, but yes, thank you. Honestly, Tech and Brody, you two are my, are, are my boys. <laughs> thank you for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Um, but, hey, we're starting in Pokemon Emerald today. Um, we are back... Um, if you recall, last episode, we got toasted by Tate and Liza. They, they killed us. Um, I'm actually picking up the TM for Thunder. Um, that, <laughs> I'm not a boy, I'm a man. Then you're my man. Um, um, wait, there's an ad? I hope not. Um, I didn't say to run ads on my channel. Well, if there is an ad, I'm sorry. Um... Oh, a sidebar ad. Oh, I see. Ah, I see. Um, is that something that's just like, yeah, probably by default? Yeah, I was about to say, is that something that's unavoidable? I'll look into it. Um, again, yeah, I don't know much about being an affiliate. I became an affiliate literally yesterday. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'll continue to navigate, mold the channel, mold the experience. Um, uh, what's up, bingo? Um, that really flew you for a loop. <laughs> Hi! Um, so yes, we just picked up our TM for Thunder. I don't think we have anything that can learn it yet, but when Ron evolves, he should be able to learn that. Um, and that's kind of more of a just-in-case scenario. Oh my gosh, thank you for, uh, tuning in here, Bingo. That's really awesome. Um, I'm glad that you've been following along on YouTube as well. I mean, I, I love being able to be in both in both spaces. Um, that's really helpful. Um, ah, yes, that rain dance in the works. Um, Brody, I, I do have just, uh, I mean, a happy little surprise for you. Um, I do have Ziggy. He's here. She's here, pardon me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I deposited Sceptile because we are coming down to this route. Um, and we need to um, fight some of these trainers so we can gain some more experience um, for Tate and Liza. Because like I said, they killed us. And I needed Ziggy so we could cut this tree down. Because there's a couple trainers here. Um, but, uh, Bingo, how are you? Um, I, I feel like I ask a lot of people if they're big Pokemon fans or... Um, if they are what their first Pokemon game was. Uh, mine was yellow, which is why I started with it, um, here on the channel. Um, but my favorite is Crystal. Um, oh, <laughs> you forgive me? <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, mm. but yeah, we got a couple trainers in here, um, and we were able to grab that secret rare candy down below, which is nice. Um... All right. Ah, Weather Ball. That doesn't have... Weather Ball is actually a very interesting move because it does elemental damage if there is a specific weather condition up. Um, 
that, and it also does more damage. It's, I think, a 50 base power normal move, but if there's weather, not only will it do water damage, if it's raining, for example, it will do more damage. I think double, if I'm not mistaken. At least it is in newer games, maybe not in Emerald. Um, hi, is Crypt Cryptek? How's it going? Um, good to see you. Oh, wow. Castform's got... Castform got Flamethrower. Um... But we got him now. Um, ah, Brody, I've I've been doing. I'm so glad that you're asking about Yu-Gi-Oh. That makes my heart happy. Um, but I have started doing every other Monday doing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I can do it more if you want. If people want, I can do more Yu-Gi-Oh. I just find that people just really enjoy the Emerald, so um, I am doing Yu-Gi-Oh every other Monday. At least you know. For now, unless people want more. In which case, I am more than happy to oblige. Um, because we still have a couple more ghouls to take down in Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel. Mm -hmm. Oh, you shorten it to cry. That's that's great. Um, but I'm, I'm glad it's going good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, every other Monday, perfect. That's great. That, I thought that was a good balance. Um, because I still love that Yu-Gi-Oh! game. I really want to keep playing it. Um, and I feel like I do say every time, I feel like uh, as things continue to grow, people usually are very happy with the Pokemon content. Um, which I'm happy about, too. Pokemon's my favorite franchise. Um... But yeah, I still want to sprinkle in other games, for sure. Um, for sure. So we gotta pick these berries here. Oh, this uh, person is actually interesting. She, excuse me, this trainer will give you the TM for Giga Drain if you have a grass Pokemon in your team. I unfortunately deposited Sceptile, deposited Sceptile, so I don't have him right now. So if we need Giga Drain, we can come back for it. Oh, uh, let's see. There we go. And this is just like a, a neat little optional route um, south of Mount Pyre. And there's a lot of trainers here. There's some good double battles. This is a really great place to level up your squad if you need to. Um... Excellent. So we're going to do that now. Um, it's so funny because I am playing uh, Violet right now. And I'm just so used to, with playing that, having essentially endless potions. Because you can just find them anywhere. Um, oh, <laughs> yes. Um, Brody points something out. If we waited until level 45 to evolve our Trico, it actually would have learned Giga Drain, where Sceptile does not learn Giga Drain. There's a lot of, like, uh, first, evol first evolution Pokemon that learn different moves in their final form. It's quite interesting. Noice got the Zangoose going. I really enjoy Zangoose as a Pokemon. It's not one that you see super often. Um, I'm actually going to double hit into it, yes, because it's going to try to set up with Sword Stance. So hopefully... Okay, that is great, especially because Iron Tail missed, which I hate. Um, you did that with Sunkern. Oh, wow. Sunkern is, like, extraordinarily weak. Please hit yourself. Thank you. <laughs> and <laughs> since it used Swords Dance, it really killed it. Oh, that's great. Right into Super Effective. Lovely. We're killing it. But we are missing Iron Tails. Come on. Um, but Tech, that is crazy that you did that with a Sunkern. Sunkern is extraordinarily weak. Um, let's see. Oh, but your Sunfloor is a beast now. Hey, I mean, you... You dedicated yourself to the grind, and now you're reaping the benefits. Um, oh, yeah. So Torchic gets Flamethrower, Trico gets Giga Drain, and Mudkip gets Hydro Pump, but their evolved forms do not. That's great to know. Thanks, Brody. 
Mm -hmm. I'll just hit you with a uh, metal claw. Oh wow, one shot. James is a beast. That was just a confusion, man. I know it had some levels on it, but dang. Yo, James. Um, okay, I'm gonna pop another super repel. Um, it's funny that you're talking about Sun Floor Attack in my Violet. Ah, oh, some Lepa Berries. This is nice. Um, in my Violet, I am playing with only Grass types, which has been super fun. There are so, so many options. Um, I have like two full teams worth of Grass types that I cycle in and out of. Um, let's see. Ah, another Super Repel. Lovely. I want to make sure I can fight that woman. Because I think to get absolutely everything on this route, you need to take two trips through it because of all the ledges. There's some kind of like different trainers and different items um, that you can pick up um, on these ledges. Mm. A series run with monotype teams. That's awesome. Yeah, I've really come to, in to enjoy um, running... Just with, like, themed teams um, for games that I've played a lot. Um, let's see. Ron's not going to be doing too terribly great against this small while. Let's bring in Harry. Um, oh, interesting. All right, that's fine. Blizzard it is. Love to see it. Wouldn't want to be you, Roselia. Um, but, yeah, I, I do themed teams all the time. Um, especially because I play these games so many times. Um, but it's really nice here um, to do a more traditional run-through. I enjoy it a lot. And we have Blaine getting some game action here. Um, I think this is... We've used Blaine before since he's evolved, but it's so nice to have Altaria now. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not... Okay, that's actually really nice that it uses Protect on that turn, because now we can just use Fly. Ah, oh, he got the double Protect. How about that? So Fly's going to be a no-go. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to use Sing. Oh, guys, this is annoying. Because he's just going to be protecting all day long. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, but I mean, bug. Oh wow, she has a full restore. I did not see that coming. Um, I also really enjoy bug types, Brody. Um, like Scizor is one of my favorite Pokemon. We used Heracross in our in our Crystal Run, um, which was sick. Um, but yeah, Scizor is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I couldn't use it in our crystal run because I couldn't trade in the emulator. I mean, there's ways to obtain those Pokemon if you have, like, the universal randomizer or whatever. Um, Gen 3 with bug types. Oh, wow. So he would have been using, what, Beautifly, Dustox, Dustox, Ninjask, Shedinja. Uh, what else? Illumise, Volbeat. <laughs> that is quite a squad. Um... All right, so we have more here. Oops. Um, even though it's raining, I'm gonna let Guzzle get in on this double battle. Ah, oh, and Ziggy has an item. Thanks, Ziggy. Yeah, yeah. Ninjask is great because you can really set up with Swords Dance and Speed Boost. Um, that is like the saving grace. I. I remember running through this game with a Shedinja. That would have been cool to use in this playthrough, actually. Um, running through this game with a Shedinja was awesome. Um, we're going to double up the Pelipper because it is a water type in the rain. And that's annoying. I hate Supersonic very much. 50-plus um, points, baby. That's right. Um, okay, that works. But yes, love, sh love Shedinja. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Its gimmick is very weird, um, but that makes it very charming to me. And it wasn't too bad. Once, once it got like Shadow Ball, it was pretty good. Um, 
it wasn't like the best or anything, but what can you do? Um, oh wow, not very effective in even one shots. Ah yes, this Zatu actually reminds me that after this battle, I want to teach um, Ron a new move. I actually realized that Ron is a rock type, but Laron does not learn any rock type moves via level up. So I am going to teach him a TM that we've previously been saving. And I think that might help against Tate and Liza. All right, so um, I had been saving this TM, but I realized that we're not going to need it later. Um, it is Rock Tomb. And like I said, um, it's kind of silly that the um, Air Online does not learn rock moves naturally, even though they're rock types. So Rock Tomb is a great move to teach your lair on. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of Mud Slap finally. Lovely. It is very nice for slow guys like Laron. Rock Tomb, if you don't remember, um, we faced it in the first gym. It lowers the speed of the Pokemon that it hits. Um, so that can come in great handy. I really want to use that against um, ba -ba -ba -da, Tate and Liza's Natu. Not Natu, Zatu. If it was a Natu, we'd, be, we'd have a much better time. Um, but alas. Um, okay, so we can pick up this... Ooh, Revival Herb! Very nice! Um, another double battle here. Oh, thanks for being here tonight, folks. I really appreciate seeing people coming out. Um... I was just saying, um, for anybody new, I'm Silver Cave Gaming. I recently became an affiliate, which I'm really excited about. Um, so stay tuned. I play mostly, um, mostly Pokemon, but other games as well. Um, I was just, <laughs> I won't tell your boss you're here. I promise. <laughs> um, I was just saying how uh, every other Monday we're playing a an old Game Boy Advance game, Yu-Gi-Oh game. Which is awesome. Um, and I love. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What's up, Loctess? Hello! Good to see you here. Um, today is a joyous day. Everybody's coming out. I love it. Um, I am going to. You know, I'm just going to body slam the Lunatone. Hopefully, we can just paralyze it. Um, let's see. Ah! I, it's because I am excited, Bingo. It's, it's wonderful. Um, because really, I the only reason I started this Twitch channel was because I love playing video games just on my own, um, especially Pokemon, and I just thought it would be nice to share that. Share my, share my joy. That's the theme, I suppose. Um, so if I'm doing that, that, that makes me happy. Um, Let's see. <laughs> Swap in cloud. I don't have cloud with me, Brody. I'm so sorry. Oh, I forgot that it's raining. Flamethrower is doing absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, we actually don't have anything to hit this Lunatone with right now. Um, I'll just use Body Slam again. Um, but yes, Bingo, if my, uh, if my joy is coming across the screen, that is my... That's my mission. That is my mission. Um, oh, <laughs> one of the very few casuals. You just mean like people who aren't doing like triple soul link nuzlocke time challenge, like stuff like that. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, we're 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 here for the vibes, kids. We're here for the vibes. Um, like. I have done Nuzlocke's before. Um, shiny farming, yes. I'm not terribly into shiny farming. Like, I was just thinking how, like, 
you know, shinies are neat. I like them. Um, which is great. Um, but, you know, it's not something that I need. Um, a lot of people just love, love shiny hunting. And that's great. Um, but I've never really cared that much about shinies. I think it's cool be that they're rare. Um, but I usually always prefer, like, the normal col color palette of a Pokemon. Um, it's kind of like... Okay, here is the the good picture. Like, you're taking family pictures, and it's just like, all right, now everybody do a fun one. And it's like, okay, Espeon's green now. <laughs> you know? Um, let's see. Ah, uh, you don't like watching Shiny Farming. That makes, that makes total sense. Oh, oh, yeah, I know. I mean, watching it and doing it are definitely two totally different things. Um, but yeah, I've never been much of a Shiny Hunter. That's just not my not my jam. Um, so like I was saying, we can head back to this route and we can just hop over the northern ledges here to hopefully pick ourselves up another item or another battle like this fellow. Let's see. Ah, uh, this would be a great time to use our new Rock Tomb TM. Let's see. Happy Monday! Hello, Arena! Thank you for joining us! Um, thank you. It's good to see you. I was just telling the folks how yesterday I became an affiliate, which is really exciting. Um, and yeah, I'm working on subscriber badges and things of that nature. Um, I do have a couple of emotes that I think are funny <laughs> that I am going to get uploaded here. Um, but yeah, it's a whole new world, man. The whole new world we live in. Pokemon Johto. That is one thing. That is one thing that does not get enough credit. The Pokemon Johto theme song. Because everyone knows I want to be the very best, like the iconic original theme song. But the Johto Journeys theme song is just as good. It is wonderful. It's so good. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> Brody, you never, ever have to pay anything if you don't want to. Um, let's see. Whoa! Oh, Irena! Ah! Hello! Thank you for subscribing! Ah! You're the first one! You're the first one! You're the OG. Um, but yeah, I never expect anybody to. It's just cool that you can now. Um, if ever, if anybody ever does want to. Um, Wailord. What am I gonna do with a Wailord? Or a Whalemer? Was it a Whalemer or a Wailord? I got too excited. I don't know what I'm fighting. Oh, just a Whalemer. We all good. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, let's see. Unpopular opinion. I don't like it. Wait, what don't you like, Tech? I lost... Um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. <laughs> or our conversation. Um, oh, you don't like the Johto theme song? <gasps> Is that what you're talking about? The theme song. Oh, I love the Johto theme song. Oh no. What, what you, don't you like about it? I guess you're just allowed to not like it. It's just music, man. Sometimes you just don't like music. Yo! Hype train incoming! Amazing! Thanks, Tech! Um, that's so nice of you. It's too poppy. I, well, hey. You can't really beat the heavy metal majesty of the original. That is true. Because if you ever listen to the full version of the original theme song, there is like a shredding guitar solo. It's sick. Um, da -da -da -da. We'll do Guzzle. Ah, oh, hurt. Um, so cool. Thank you, guys. Um, I want to be the very best. Hey, I mean, and that one is still wonderful. Don't, don't get it twisted. That is still an amazing theme song. Um, but uh, even though it's raining, I'm still just going to go for the flamethrower. 
Um, I got rid of Mud Slap on. Ah, oh, it's still a one shot. I love it. Um, <laughs> absolutely, Brody. You can start saving up for that so you can vandalize my emotes. Um, ooh, a Shiftry. Interesting. You don't see Shiftry too often on normal trainers. I really enjoy this Pokemon. It's very creepy. Oh, no. I don't want this. Just hit it, please. Okay, good. Lovely. Love to see it. Um, do, 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 do. But yeah, like I said um, about the Johto theme song, and the Johto journeys in general, I just never really watched um, the anime much after the original run. Um, let's see. <laughs> hey, that's fine. Brody, you are one of our OGs here. Um, I, will I will accept your vandalism, for the most part. <laughs> um, let's see, as long as it's not, uh, you know, hate speech or anything. Uh, let's see. What's up, Leo? Hey, dude! How are you doing, man? Good to see you. Um, or good to hear from you, anyway. Um... Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I was going to ask what everyone's favorite Pokemon movie is. Um, oh, awesome. Tech, thank you for gifting a sub. Awesome. Because um, my favorite Pokemon movie, the reason I've got my boy Lugia over here is Pokemon the Movie 2000. I love that movie so much. When he emerges out of the whirlpool and just... It's the coolest thing that's ever happened. Love my boy. Um, let's see here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really can't. <laughs> it's 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 been a chaotic one today. Um, and it's oh Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. I actually have seen that one. That's a really good one. You are I respect. That's a good one. Um, Let's see, where can I go now? I know there are some other trainers here in the water. Um, and we can grab Sceptile again. Because I would like to get the squad to about level 38. Um, if I can, before we attempt Tate and Liza again. I feel like that's going to be um, the play here. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess I could I can try to make a bigger one. Um, I told you it's my first try. <laughs> I can make a bigger Lugia emote. It's fine. Um, let's see here. Okay. Ah yes, Pokemon the first Pokemon the first movie is incredible. Um, and I will say, I don't want to be too negative here, but. They did, like, the remake of that movie. It was, like, Pokemon, the first movie, Evolution, and it was, like, CGI. That was just a travesty to me. <laughs> I, I didn't see it. Um, but just watching, I, like, saw the trailer, and I'm just like, this looks so much worse than the original. Hated it. Yes, absolutely. Um, let's see. Ooh, get Giga Drain. Oh, you're actually, you're actually correct. Um, um, yes, I fought her already. Um, yeah, I, I just really hated, I mean, I think that, like, kind of like 90s, 2000s anime, or even, like, a lot of anime now, the art style is so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Um, and just to change that for no real reason was just kind of dumb to me. Um, but I'm also, ah, oh yes, I have seen that recently. A lot of people have been just posting full movies on Twitter. Um, but yes, I have seen some of Jirachi Wishmaker. I haven't seen much after that. Um, I think Lucario and the Mystery of the Mew, Mystery of Mew is the most, like, uh, recent one I've seen. Yes, recently. Um, I'm also a huge fan of the third movie. Um, I just cannot stop being in love with this this love disc. It's just a little heart. There we go. Um, 
Um, the Jirachi one was cringe, oh no! Um, um, that makes me sad. I mean, I, I love Jirachi. I mean, I feel like, I don't know. Cringe is subjective, right? What's cringe to someone is is beautiful to another, you know? Um, let's get Blaine in here. I'm pretty sure... Uh, oh, <laughs> you love and love Disc Evolved into Loma Loa? Yeah, so did everybody. Everybody wished that, anyway. Um, oh, no! I boofed it! Oh! Because you have to, like, hop off your Surf Pokemon at just the right time so it becomes a double battle. Oh, no! Oh, I've never done that before. Um, let's see. I hate this, so we'll go into Piccolo. Let's see. We'll just do some Leaf Blading. We should be fine. Other than being paralyzed, which is annoying. Wow, he knew who to get out here. Oh, no! Wow! That was a real stroke of bad luck, kiddos. But I can quick attack myself, Maynetric. <laughs> Two can play that game. Um, Machamp. This is why I wanted to start with Blaine. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you say you fudged it? Yeah. <laughs> My wife and I started saying boofed it. We just think it's really funny. Um... All right, so this guy's got him a champ, which is really cool. I think he is. This is the first champ you see from any trainer. Um, and we did not get a one shot. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, not too bad. Oh yeah, I forgot. Altaria is not normal type like Swablu. It is part dragon type, which is wonderful. There we go. Oh, Buffalant. <laughs> Gen five. Um, I'm actually very interested for when we do get to the Gen 5 games eventually, because I am not not a huge Gen 5 fan, you know, not a huge Gen 5 fan. Um, but that's just because it occurred during my, like, it is funny, I've been listening to just some YouTuber, YouTubers and they describe a phenomenon like your Pokemon break. Um, Cause there are so many adults like me uh, that enjoy the franchise and like a lot of you, I'm sure, um, that took a break from it because they thought they needed to like grow out of it, but then came back to it after that. And for me, my break was around gen five cause it was around like the end of high school. Um, let's see. <laughs> Tauros, the guy she says not to worry about Buffalo. That's funny. Um, all right, we'll get Ron in here. We can use that new rock tomb, baby. Lovely. Um, hello, there you are. I really like the nightshade animation in this game. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> you say you need to take a Bidoof. <laughs> That's wonderful. I love that. Um, you know, I have never known how to pronounce Tropius's name. I've always said, I've always said Tropius, but it's probably Tropius, like tropical, like a tropical tree. Um, all right, there's a big pearl. That's lovely. I'm going to get Piccolo out here to fight. I think there's, oops, that's not it. Um, I believe there's one more swimmer up here. Ah, uh, Lockie. Lovely. And yes, it is. Okay, cool. That's that's what I figure. Um, got some, ooh, one of these days, um, I think I'm going to take an episode one of these days soon, and we're going to do, we're going to design a secret base. I'm excited about that. Um, because that's a feature of this game I've never really taken advantage of that I think is super cute. Um, we could also maybe enter Harry in a contest because his beauty stat is super high now. <laughs> Field trip! <laughs> yes. Um, I'll probably do something similar to what I did in um, Crystal, where once we kind of get toward the end of the game, I will 
just take some detours and do some of the, um, what's the word? Like extracurricular, non-required um, stuff that you can do in the game. Rayquaza, yes, I did know that one. Um, a Rayquaza, Rayquaza, potato, potato. Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> right, but potato is wrong, I, I guess so. Um, yeah, I used to say Rayquaza, but I have learned to say Rayquaza. I think Rayquaza is technically the correct one, maybe? I don't know. I mean, honestly, some of them, like, the Pokemon company isn't even sure, because the anime pronunciations are different than... What I'm saying is sometimes the pronunciations are not consistent. Um, so now we have this open route. This is the open sea here. Um, and we are going to get into a few more battles here. Um, just to train up. Um, let's let James and Guzzle do this. I think it's main Etric. Um, because it has like it has like the hair thing. That's like a, that's like a mane. It's kind of like a little wolf, lion, dog thing. That's what I always said. Main Etric. Um, do, 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 do. As in quasar. Do I know what that means? And I just forget. All right. Oh, here is a main Etric now. Um, it is a is a puppy. Oh, I see. Alright, Swallow's trying to set up with some double teams, which is annoying. Gosh dang it with the paralysis, man. There we go, that'll do it. Flamethrower, thank you. It's like a half-formed star, that makes a lot of sense. It's a very, very celestial Pokemon. Very of the sky. Um, Flamethrower missed, that's annoying. This Swellow is Manutric. Ooh, interesting. I've never heard that one. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of different uh, pronunciations out there. Okay, so we're having a real hard time hitting this Swellow. I think it's four double teams deep at this point. Okay, <laughs> All right, we'll get there. We're both attacking it. We're doing great. Oh wow, that was our first Lax Incense miss. It looked like. Because wing attack's a 100 accuracy move. Mm. Very glad I have Guzzle out here. Let's see. <laughs> I, I get that, Tech. I get that. Um, okay. This won't take too long to sort through. We just have to hit a flamethrower. There we go. Lovely. Oh yeah, Tech, how do you pronounce? I've said, I've been saying Aran this whole time. Um, I, okay, the Arceus thing, <laughs> even though I just spelled grammar wrong, I really think it's Arceus, because in Sun and Moon, Sylvali, its ability is RKS system, which is supposed to like mirror Arceus's like plate thing. So that's why I think it's Arceus. But tell me if I'm wrong, Tech. You're our resident uh, Poke Grammar expert. Um, okay. Um, I'm actually going to go to some other battles um, because we can start doing some battles off the coast of Slateport City here. Arceus, yes, that's what I think too. Okay, awesome, Bingo. Thank you. <laughs> um, great. So if we go here, this is where we took the boat to Slateport City originally. Mr. Briny pulls up there, but now that we can surf, we can just surf right off the coast and get ourselves into some battles over here, which is lovely. Uh, let's see. You say a a Ron. <laughs> I get that. Um, Aaron. Oh, you're not sure on that one. Yeah, because... I, it's got, it's a play on the word iron, right? Um, I imagine. So it's probably not Iran. It's probably like Aaron 
something like that. Um, oh, like ours, <laughs> Brody, <laughs> our native uh, uh, Scott. Scott. Um, that's funny. So we can breeze through some of these battles. The only thing I don't like about these is that they're a little bit under our level, so we're not getting a ton of experience from them at this point. Um, hmm. Maybe I thought wrong here. Maybe we do need to keep going south of Moss Deep. Um, you're an Arceus guy, I see. But you do, you do get my reasoning. Uh, why I think it's Arceus. Um, that said, Pokemon Legends Arceus, high recommend. High recommend for me. We will see that on the channel at some point, I promise. I love that game. Um, <laughs> you're Scottish or you're offended by Arceus. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's see. Ah, like the golden ox of heaven. <laughs> Oh, I, don't, I do not know what they're switching into. Wingle, that's fine. We can still just Leaf Blade that boy. Um, guys, I will... I What's up, Mom? How's it going? Um, I will say, I will get better at reading the chat and playing the game at the same time. <laughs> there we go, up to 37. Um, I think there's an item down there, if I'm not mistaken. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of speed up here. Love my repels. I think this is an iron, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's PP up. Or a PowerPoint up. All right, got a nice double battle here. Let's see who can come in. Let's do Harry and Guzzle. There we go. We are absolutely doing Gym 7 today, Brody. Um, I want to get the squad to level 38, um, and then we'll do it. I feel like we should be able to do that relatively quickly. Um, and if it kind of gets toward the end of our time, and we're still not to 38, I'll still challenge the Gym anyway. We're definitely, we are definitely challenging Gym 7 again, because I, I want redemption. Um, I feel like we might be able to be... Yeah! Um, I feel like... Uh, I want to have time to make a couple, take a couple cracks at it if we need to. Um, because I really want to take them down today. Um, they disrespected me last time. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. Um... I know I talked about coming down here south of Slateport, but I'm actually going to go back on that because I think we're going to find some more... Oopsie. We're going to find some more powerful trainers. Um, <laughs> we got to get another tech in the party. That's true. Team wipes never feel good. It's so true. It's so true, Arena. Um, it was tough. And I was even using potions. Like... Um, that is one thing that you can, like, abuse if you really want to. Um, and I try not to abuse it too much. I do recall our battle with Watson was so funny. I was just, like, super potion stalling him the entire time. Because <laughs> um, I had one way to win. And when you start with Trico, the Watson battle in this game is particularly difficult. Um, all right, so we're actually going to go down here. Okay, we have not fought them yet, so that's great. <laughs> let's see so I don't know what they have okay this isn't too bad even though I have a pretty bad matchup with Guzzle let's get you here and you here because I actually don't know if either of these water Pokemon have water moves I've said it before Carvana and its evolution Sharpedo don't learn water moves um, naturally a lot like um Iran and its line doesn't learn any rock moves. Uh, let's see. Still kicking back there in Crystal. <laughs> That's funny. Um, let's see. There we go. Um, 
Yes, of course, who could ever forget Tech, the Skarmory, from our Pokemon Crystal playthrough. Twas a champion. Literally was a champion. Hey, Tech, you know, you know I'm with you. Crystal is my favorite. I have been putting in the title of these videos um, that Emerald could be the best Pokemon game. And, like, I will say, objectively, Crystal's not the best. It's just my favorite. Um... I think objectively the best Pokemon game, I I say it here below the below the stream. Um, I think it could be Emerald. Um, I love this game very very much. But of course, a lot of uh, a lot of Pokemon games have a claim to the throne. I know that there are a lot of uh, uh, Black Two supporters, Black and White Two supporters out there. Oh, get him in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. Yeah, we'll play. We'll play. I mean, obviously, we're gonna play Soul Silver. Gotta have my boy Lugia. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely play Heart Gold Soul Silver. Really, the only thing I can pr absolutely promise you when we play Heart Gold Soul Silver is that we are going to run a Mareep because Mareep, although I love Crystal. It is tragedy that Mareep is not in Crystal. Um, black, two, black and Black Two and White Two are your second favorite. Hey, I get that. I was just, yeah, I was just saying how Gen Five was kind of like my weird era. Um, they are good. They are super good. And like the Pokemon World Tournament, <laughs> Scarlet and Violet, no glitches, no bugs. It's all perfect. I will say, I am a Scarlet and Violet lover. I love Scarlet and Violet. But, obviously, it is undeniable that they run like crap. That is definitely, that is just the truth. But I do still love them. I really do. I think they're super fun. Um, yeah, so Laron's not great against a lot of these swimmers out here. Um, but we're going to do our best. Uh, we've got some Rock Tomb. We've got some Strength. See, that's a one-shot. We're, we're easy, breezy, beautiful right now. Um, Mega Ampharos is gorgeous. Ampharos is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Um, love it so much. Let's see. <laughs> story good. Just, um, the game is, well, um, yeah. The story in Scarlet and Violet is wonderful. I actually really highly recommend it for that reason. Um, let's see. So this is actually a city that we can't get to yet. This, uh, this special white rock here. And this guy will actually say something about it once we run into him. He says, swimming is a full body workout. Oh, never mind. He doesn't. Um, but as you can see, there's some kind of dark spots below where this guy is swimming. There we will be able to dive into that city. We just can't get there yet. Um... Oh, <laughs> your Ampharos is Fabio because of the lovely mane. I love that. Um, okay, that is great. Lower some speed. And I think a strength will do us here. Awesome. Yeah, having this rock move now is actually very helpful. Protect? I don't need protect. I never use protect. And I think you can buy it at the department store anyway. Um, okay. Get Harry to the front. Oh yes, there's a double battle over here, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least one trainer sitting over here. Yes. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I like to get Guzzle in here because of the... Just because of the fact that we can't... That Guzzle just doesn't have many good matchups here in the water. Alright. I'm gonna try to get a flinch. Yeah, again, I actually don't think either of these Pokemon have a water move at this point. Which is super helpful for me, trying to train a Torkoal in the open ocean. <laughs> there we go, there's that flinch. Um, lovely. Alright folks, and I know that I said that we were going to go to level 38. 
Um, but I'm going to settle for level... Oh, there's a bubble beam. Oh, no. Um, I'm going to settle for level 37 for us to try the 8th... The, not the 8th gym. The 7th gym again. Because now that Harry has hit it, the whole squad's at 37. I'm feeling good. Star you! Um, I am excited to give it another try. All right. All right, folks. Um... How many star you can you? How many star you can you see in the night sky? <laughs> um, star you, I think I feel like star you and star, star me are actually really underrated. Um, I love them <laughs> like zero because they're in the water. <laughs> Brody's taking it literally, of course. Um, all right, let's see here. So we're gonna heal up the squad. Um, all right, so I'll ask you guys, what do you think my open should be against um, Tate and Liza here? Because I was trying to strategize a little bit. Um, oh, there you go. You, Brody knew the whole time. Um, I didn't even realize you were telling a joke. Because <laughs> um, the strategy that I have thought about was opening with Ron so we can use Rock Tomb on the Zatu, but also opening with Blaine so we can put Claydol to sleep so Ron doesn't get one shot by the Claydol. That was my thought process anyway. If anyone's got a better suggestion, go ahead and shout it out. Um, so as we did in the last episode. We defeated all of the trainers in here, and we gotta hop down here. And swap that switch. Lovely. Awesome. Oh, you can make a star you constellation out of any of the stars. Huh. Let's see. Wonderful. Oops. There we go. Now we'll switch them around. Go up this secret green room. All right. We're back at Tate and Liza, uh, folks. Let's see if my new strategy works. I'll save because I have anxiety. You know what? I'll even save twice because I have a lot of anxiety. Here we go. Ha ha ha. Were you surprised? That there are two gym leaders. I just love how they actually have a double battle gym leader in this game. The game where they introduce double battles. The generation, anyway. Ah, uh, wonderful. And Tate and Liza get such a huge upgrade in Pokemon Emerald from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Because in Ruby and Sapphire, they just have Solrock and Lunatone. But here, they start with this devastating Zatu Claydol 1-2 punch, baby. I got surprised by a 12-year-old surprise. Um, let's see. Oh, hey! Thanks, Bingo! Um, uh, okay. So we are going to do a Rock Tomb on Zatu. And we're going to try to put Claydol to sleep. Hopefully we're faster than Claydol. Alright, that's not devastating. I've actually never really seen Zatu open with Confuse Ray. Must be afraid of our Rock Tomb. Ah, Claydol's faster. Claydol is faster, and that's an instant kill on Ron. Folks, I'm going to reset. I'm going to reset. I don't like that. Don't like that. So we're just going back. There we go. Um, all right, so Claydol being faster really kind of thwarts the plan. So I think I will still start with Blaine to try to put some people to sleep. Um... But I was really banking on that hitting first. Um, steel rocket. <laughs> yeah, earthquake's coming. Oh, Let's see. All right. We're going to give them another shot. All right. Now, we do have some revival herbs if we need. I'm not against using them. And, 
Okay, I have Harry in. So we can try to use some Surfs, and we can try to use some Blizzards if we want. I'm going to try to put Zatu to sleep first. And there's that Calm Mind, which I don't like. <laughs> yes, drugs! It will not affect Blaine, which I like. Um, but Harry is the only Pokemon on the field getting hit by that Earthquake, which I don't like. Sing missing makes me so very sad. Um, not useful whatsoever. Hmm. Let's try a blizzard. Okay. That's probably going to take out Harry. Gosh dang it, man. Oh boy. All right. Ah, uh, Chimeco also has Levitate, so its Earthquake can't hit either one of them. That is something. That is something. Um, lovely. Okay. 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 We got a strategy here. Um, I'm actually going to use Blaine's turn, and I'm going to revive, um, our friend Harry. Which is great. And then Chimeco is actually going to use Yawn on Claydol. Mmm. Brody, we did not get Giga Drain. Um, I feel like... I feel like... Uh, whatchamacallit. Leaf Blade is going to be able to do a lot of what we want. Um, but yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. I'll just try to do that. And I will bring in... Bring in Piccolo. What's up, Yuka? How are you? Thanks for joining. Uh, we are in the Tate and Liza fight, and it is brutal, and they are killing us. And I might need to reset because... Oh, my gosh. Oh, nice. Okay, love that. Okay, it's good that Claydol is going to go to sleep now because of the... Um... Yawn. Oh, just for the healing? Yeah, I mean, the healing's the healing's good, for sure. I, I'll go pick it up if we can't beat them this time, just to see if that'll help us. Um, Alright, I'm really glad that that Psychic went into Altaria instead of Piccolo. Okay, that is great! We didn't knock the Claydol into healing range. And we're able to take it out. That's really good. Okay. And it's also very nice that we have Harry still on the back end that we revived because Harry's Surf is going to be super effective against Lunatone and Solrock. Um, I'm okay with Blaine going down here. That's not too terrible. Um, let's get James in. Um... Ah, yes. I am also a grass guy, Yuka. I love Sceptile. Um, it's pretty... I wish it was better in more battles, but it is... Oh, I do love it. It's one of my faves. Um, they do have a light screen up that'll hopefully go down soon. Because... Okay, that's awesome. I love that. Um... Because even with one Calm Mind boosted, James can take two Psychics from Zatu. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and there that light screen wears off. That's actually really good. Um, so hopefully I can take out the Lunatone in a Leaf Blade now with no light screen. Ah, not quite. Not quite. And that's going to knock it into healing range. Um, mm. It is tough to lose Piccolo because it's so fast. Um, but that's alright. I'm going to bring in Ron here. And we'll be able to take... Ron should be able to take a Psychic or two. Um, it's good that Soul Rock's not out yet. Um, because... Soul Rock could set up some, like, Sunny Day solar beam stuff um okay i actually don't hate that we can 
We'll use Double Edge on Zatu, and Iron Tail should be enough to take out Lunatone from this range. Oh, I would love a freeze, Brody. Oh, I'm so glad Hypnosis missed. All right, I just need Iron Tail to hit here, kids. Um, I should know better. I should know better than to rely on an Iron Tail hitting. It's never smart. Never smart. Um, oh, let's see here. I have a couple of options. I'm just going to yawn you in case you wake up. Okay, great. Oh, the stream is frozen. Oh, no. Hold on, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> How are we now, folks? I'm not clicking anything yet. I just knocked out the Lunatone with Iron Tail. We good now? You're not good, Tech? Good on your end, bingo? Okay. I can see I did drop a few frames there. Okay, we good? Oh, Tech, you're still frozen. I'm sorry. Try refreshing. Because we're looking good on my end now. Yeah. Watch me dance. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Perfect. Um, Lunatone down. That is wonderful. I don't want to say anything quite yet. Okay, he did not heal Zatu, so I can take Zatu out with a Rock Tomb. In theory... Okay, that's fine. Um, lovely. No prob. Um, I'll save Guzzle. Guzzle could be a great Pokemon if I need to revive something again. Um, oh, I have seen people talk about Poké Road Yuka. Um, this should take out Zatu. Lovely. Um, I remember I started it, um, but I got... My computer was being weird or something, so I never continued playing it. I've heard it's really cool. Um, you are not the first person to mention it um, on stream, actually, so... I should give it another try. Have you played it? But meanwhile, we're over here, and we're going to knock out this Soul Rock, baby. Mmm, that's even through the sun. Let's see if an Iron Tail can bring us home. No, it misses! Iron Tail has terrible accuracy. Ugh, makes me so sad. Uh, what? All right. Um, all right, so this is what Soul Rock likes to do. It likes to set up that sun. It has Solar Beam and Flamethrower to use with it. Um, I'm actually pretty happy that he didn't hit into... Harry, because that probably would have been worse. Um, ugh. But finally, Iron Tail, Iron Tail hits. Brings us home. Tate and Liza are defeated. That is wonderful. Mwah. Self chef's kiss. I can't talk. I'm so happy. Our combination was shattered. Of course it was. Of course it was. Hey, I will say, Chai Mecco was great putting stuff to sleep. That was awesome. Let's see. Hey, um, <clears throat> your best run right now is like 160. Oh, that's incredible, Pokero. Um, all right. So now that we have the badge from Tate and Liza here, we can use Dive outside of battle. That's what I was talking about. We can get those shards to get the evolution stones. We don't need to, but one could. Um, and it will also help us progress through the story in a really cool way. And they give us the TM for Calm Mind. Um, so what that does is it's a lot like the TM that Brawly gives you earlier in the game, Bulk Up, but instead of boosting your attack and defense, it boosts, it boosts special attack and special defense. Um, let's see. All right, and that just takes us right back to the beginning. So one other thing I want to do here, if you recall, we stopped into Steven's house... Oh, yes, and he's actually not here yet. Um, oh, you've beaten Poke Rogue twice. Oh, that's amazing. Um, 
Ah, uh, okay, I see. <laughs> you have a dark rye as your starter? <laughs> That's incredible, I love that. Um, do, 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 do. All right, folks. All right, um, so we will get into some story stuff in our next installment of Pokemon Emerald. Um, but for tonight, I feel like that's a good stopping point. I'm very happy that we were able to defeat Tate and Liza. Folks, we have some new folks in here today. Yuka, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, thank you all for your subscriptions, which is so nice and so kind and so amazing. Um, I am just floored that I can just share something that I love and you all are here and having a good time with me. It makes me very happy. Um, oh, love you all, Tech. I'll see you next time. Um, but uh, I'm a happy meatballs. <laughs> Glad to catch you, Bingo. Um, but uh, where was I? Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here with me. I love playing video games with you. So see you next time. Peace out, kids. <laughs>